This is an ABC podcast. Hello, my name is Nidge, and today on Imagine This, we're going to use our ears to follow a very small insect you've probably seen before. You might have seen one in your garden or at the park buzzing round the flowers. A bee. A bee. A busy, buzzy bee. Bee. Today's question comes from a few of you. Declan, Grace and Isla have all been wondering the same thing. Hello, my name's Declan. I'm Grace. I'm Isla. I'm three years old. I know how do bees make honey. How do bees make honey? I want to know how do bees make honey. How do bees make honey? Bees can make us honey because they are clever bees. They go on a flower. Yeah, I think it starts there. Pollen. Honeycomb. That gets a nectar from the flowers. Interesting, but I'm not sure how it all fits together. What happens when the bees get pollen? Yeah, good question. They give it to the queen bee and then she makes it. Maybe. And then they eat it and then and then they pull it out and then it makes honey. That could be it. You know what? I know just the person to ask. Professor Madalena Beekman. She's a bee scientist. And I know just where to find her. Where? Where? Her favourite place. Hanging out with some bees. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the garden. It looks like a park. I can see flowers. There she is. Hi, Madalena. Hi, Nietzsche. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. Madalena, we've got something on our minds. Do you know how bees make honey? Well, first, it depends on what kind of bee we're talking about. There are thousands of types. The kind that makes the lovely honey we eat is called a honeybee. And here on the flowers is a great place to watch them. Bees can hurt. I don't want to get stung. I don't want to get stung either. Oh, it's okay to be scared. And some people are allergic to bees, so it's good to give them some space. But most of the time they won't bother you. Bees only sting when they're scared of you. So they won't think of stinging us. If we're gentle, they won't. They don't sting me, because I'd be brave. Okay. I'll be brave too. What are they all doing? They're drinking nectar. They're sucking up the pollen. <laughs> they buzz around and buzz all the way to their house. It flies out of the hive and then it lands on the and sucks all the nectar out. Yes, flowers make a sweet, watery juice called nectar and bees love it. It is so delicious they fly from flower to flower filling up on it. And at the same time, they're also getting covered in pollen. Ooh, pollen. I think they eat it. That bee is covered in pollen. If they drink nectar from the flowers, what do they need the pollen for? Well, it's all part of a balanced bee diet. When they're babies, they need protein to grow up big and strong. Flower pollen is full of protein for bees. When the fin is growing, they don't need protein anymore. But they do need sugar for energy. That's why they drink nectar. OK, so they've got their nectar. Yep. And as much pollen as they can carry. Yep. So, where's all the honey? It's in the beehive. Yes. Or you can use the word colony. Colony? Colony. That is the word for all the bees living together. It's a bee family. For this next part, the honey part, we're going to have to imagine ourselves really tiny so we can follow the bees back to the colony. All right, everyone ready? Yep. Yes. Yes. Let's go! Oh, this place is really loud. My voice? I think it changed when we shrunk. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) That's better. Listen to all these bees. There are so many bees. Thousands and thousands. Yes, there are thousands of bees in a colony. And they all have work to do. Oh, look, 
I can see one of the bees coming back with all the pollen. What's she doing? She's going to drop the pollen into a comb cell. That's what we call the little holes in honeycomb. But the bees that arrive with bellies full of nectar need a little help from their friends. Hey, mate, you need to make this honey into honey. <laughs> <laughs> they tell it from their tummy and then they chew it in their mouth and then it gets all funny. Well, actually, she vomits the nectar into another bee's mouth. Oh, gross. <laughs> it looks like somebody's vomiting. Yeah. When bees get the nectar from the flowers, it's really watery and runny. The bees need it to get nice and thick and as sweet as possible. How do they do that? Every time a bee spits up nectar, she adds special stuff. That stuff, we call them enzymes, chains to sugar in the nectar. It's closer to becoming honey at this stage, but it's still too watery. Oh, OK. So it's not honey yet. It's still too runny. How did I get all the water out? How did it make it sticky? They use their wings. Their wings become massive fans. Well, actually, hundreds of tiny fans whirring away to dry out the water and make the nectar thicker and thicker and thicker until it becomes honey. Then we get to eat it. Yummy! Hang on. Let me get this straight. So they get the runny nectar from flowers bring it back to the colony, spit it in some honeycomb and make it thicker by drying it out with their wings? Unbelievable! Why did they make it? Bees need sugar for energy, just like we need to eat food so we can have energy to run around. Turning nectar into honey means it can be kept for a long time. They can eat their honey whenever they need it. Well, making honey sounds like a big job. And there are so many bees in here. How do they all know what's going on? Bees have a special way of talking. They go, that means stop annoying me when I'm making honey. It's not by their voices or with their mouths. They dance. What? It's called the waggle dance. Wait, hold on. How do they even do that? How do they dance? They move and shake their bottoms to say which direction to fly. Hang on. Bees give directions with their bottoms? <laughs> and that's how they talk? Yes, and very good directions too. Go that way, past that tree, over there, over here. The longer they waggle, the further away the flower is. Madalena, can we do the waggle dance right now? For sure. Waggle, 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 waggle. There's flowers over here. This way? Over there. <laughs> what past the tree? That tree? The waggle dance. Whew. Waggling is hard work. I'm exhausted. <laughs> you sound just like a real bee. They're so busy waggling and flying and carrying and building. They need a lot of food for their energy. They need honey. Yes, they do. Sweet honey. Yum. Yummy. So if the bees love to eat their honey, is it okay if we eat it too? It's fine to eat honey. We just have to make sure we're leaving enough for the bees too. Thanks for taking us inside a real life bee colony, Madalena. No worries. I'm going to stay and hang out with the bees. I could do it for hours. Goodbye. See ya. Thanks, Madalena. See ya. See you next time. So... Isla, Declan and Grace. Bees make honey by flying around to lots of places and drinking up sweet nectar from all their favourite flowers. They carry the nectar back to the colony where they pass the nectar on to other bees. Excuse me! And using heat from the colony and their wings as fans, they slowly turn the thin, watery nectar into thick, syrupy honey. Yummy! They do this so when the weather changes Peta, peta, drip, drop and there aren't many flowers around, they still have enough food for the thousands of busy bees in their colony.
You've been listening to an ABC Kids Listen podcast. To listen to all the other great episodes, look for Imagine This on the ABC Kids Listen app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen.